Street Brawl. Street Brawl. One on one, Street Brawl. And then we go kind of crazy like that. Hey, you guys, this is Lauren. And Brian. Uh, we are here uh, in front of the Troubadour with a really great band. Uh, they're releasing their new album. You guys just released. Actually, I'll say who the band is first. It's yeah. Matt and Kim. <laughs> Matt and Kim. <laughs> You guys can tell we're good at this song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you guys just put out a new album yesterday. yesterday right? Oh, no, yeah. no. Was it a couple weeks it ago? It was uh, the 20th. The, the 20th. Inauguration, inauguration Day. day. Oh, a, big, wow. a big day for this country. Yeah. Oh, a grand day. Partially, <laughs> partially because, you know, President Barack Obama, Barack Obama was, uh, you know, inaugurated. But well, mostly because uh, <laughs> no, your new kidding. album came no, out. No, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was really exciting. But that that, 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 that bus it. didn't want me to say that, so I just like yelled on. <laughs> that, that's the censored version. That's what's great yeah. about doing on the street interviews. Um, yeah. So how was how was working on this new album? How long were you working on it? It was a pain in the ass yeah. to work on for about nine months. Yeah. Nine months. So I mean. Were you yeah, touring like during that you know, or anything? Or was just working straight on? No, no, we, we were, well, we gave ourselves six weeks because we thought that's how long it would take. Yeah. And it was a lot longer than that. And so we were touring, so we'd go out for a month and, like, come back or go out for a couple weeks. And basically, any free moment we had, we were working on. Well, I'm sure that's great to have that, you know, sense yeah. of accomplishment now behind you. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And, I mean, it was a good way to kind of do, like, to keep a good open perspective on it was just we leave for like a month and we come back and go, oh man that sucks what was I thinking right. and then you cut that out <laughs> rather than when it's like released yeah. and then you're like oh man that sucks what was I thinking so we're yeah. able to get all the that sucks stuff out early on yeah. I think so do you, I mean how many shows have you already had like in this tour <laughs> no sorry <laughs> what do you guys you're trying to get like, ticket <laughs> hey <laughs> You guys are you guys are just huge celebrities. You don't even know. Hey, <laughs> isn't it? So we'll start right there. How does it feel for you guys to come play a show and have people mob you on the street like that? You know, well, that? It, it's funny sometimes. Yeah, people will come up like when you have a sold out show and like try to try to scalp me tickets. Like they'll be like, Do you need tickets for the show? I'm like. <laughs> Well, let me. D I don't have the cash on me because I hear this band is awesome. Like, I get the people around me to hear it a bit, you know. But I mean, I really want to snatch these up because they're gonna go quick. <laughs> you guys, this show tonight is sold out. Yeah. yeah. So you know that's gonna be like there's gonna be some hardcore uh, street brawling going on to get tickets tonight, and I'm sure it's you know it'll be well worth it. Uh, when you guys are performing live, what are some of the things you're trying to get across to your audience and the people at your shows? Um, and I always do like seven part questions. What type of experience do you want you know, your fans to have? Even people who aren't your fans who come to the shows to have. Well, I think we just want everyone to have a good time. Like, I mean, we started, when we started doing the band, we were playing loft parties, like, you know, art spaces. And it wasn't about, it was just about going out and having fun. It wasn't like. Was it like, we're the band, you're the audience, like, you light us, keep you dark, put us on a stage, and we don't want to see you, you know, just yeah. about everyone just going out and having a party. So, so we want to keep that kind of party feeling, and we hope that people are out there having a good time. Have you ever played the Troubadour before? Wait, this is our second, third, third time. Yeah. Um, it's our manager, Kevin. Yay, it's Kevin, Kevin the manager. Oh, you can't get him on tape. We, we he hates it. He hates being on tape. <laughs> He hates me on tape. This is actually, the part where Kevin's not being on tape. No, I don't. Um, could you call, call Dylan? Um, but Ke yeah. there's this uh, inside of our in our album. There's we did this sheet that's like 400 photos, and I stuck one of in of Kevin, and he was not happy. <laughs> that's great. Cool. So you're saying this is the second time you played the Troubadour? Third. Yeah, third. third. Wait, okay. So you, third. First time. We did. We were with the played with the band French Kicks. Yeah. And then we came back and did it once on a Monday night with uh, Abe Pagoda. That's right. And now this is our third time. Yeah. Were those shows sold out? First one was. Oh, the second one wasn't. Yeah. This Another was sold out yeah. show. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Awesome. Um, so what are you guys looking forward to tonight as far as your performance? I mean. New songs, I guess, obviously. Yeah, we got new songs. Uh, I guess we're just looking, we're hoping not to fuck up. <laughs> not to blow it too bad. But but again, that's like our thing, like blowing it. Like, I think, you know, like some comedians that 
like if you ever seen like uh, like Mitch Hedberg, like yeah, his whole yeah. thing is having jokes that flop and then making a joke out of yeah, like yeah. that is joke flop. I think we are never been about playing perfectly. We don't play perfectly. I feel like when I see bands that play too perfectly and they have all these backing tracks that they play along to, I'm like, I could just go home and listen to CD and not like be standing here sweating. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we we. I think we get a little too into it that. Uh, it's hard to control it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, I mean, we, we'll screw up a lot. But I think that's part of the charm. Or I like to believe that. I tell <laughs> myself that telling. afterwards. When well, I'm, like, I mean, really if you're selling out shows, like, <laughs> if you're selling out shows, then obviously you fucking up is not it's, really it's, you it's fucking work up. It's tour Yeah, that's what's worked. So Actually, though, good. we did this tour. Um, we had problems where shows would get so crazy that Matt's keyboards would get fucked up. And, like, you know, they didn't like sweat, they didn't like beer. So we did this... Keyboards sure. are not a rock and roll instrument. Yeah. But like they kept messing up and we couldn't get them fixed and we were like, we are a support band, so we didn't get like a, a sound check. Sorry, that's my phone. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I love these this. interruptions. This is what real listen to media it. is all about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That is <laughs> what is that? Gunshots. Gunshots. <laughs> Gunshots. We, that went up in like a, in a bodega You're in Brooklyn. The guy working behind the counter like, like ducking under no, the No, he wanted, he wanted to get the ringtone. He was trying to like transfer it to his phone. I was like, oh, that's so good. <laughs> that's great. Wait, oh, but so yeah, we're on this tour and each night we kept only making it through a few songs and this other band on the tour with us thought that that was our shtick. Yeah, like, that, that oh, we were like, oh, but it was all broken. <laughs> like, no, shit is breaking and we can't fix it. That would be a funny shtick. Instead of like purposely breaking the stuff, you just act like, it's oh, we awful. don't know how it happened. I just look really stressed out and panicked and like, <laughs> come like, on. Moving cables around, shaking the keyboard. It was, yeah, it was so We got, we got new, a new keyboard now, so, yeah. so we're awesome. good. Awesome. Yeah. Glad to hear She's that because I love keyboards. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah. No. no. I want to get a guitar. wants one yes. so bad. Like, this is it? what he would look like if he had a guitar. He'd just be up there doing this. No. <laughs> but I've taken, Can I've taken, uh, I've taken uh, audience like, uh, the guitar dance. like audience votes. <laughs> audience votes on whether I should or should not get a guitar, and uh, audience is so for a guitar. Yeah, like, just a guitar. Imagine me with a bright guitar. red guitar, guitar just rocking out. Just I like, can see it. Do the guitar yeah. dance. And she shakes her no, head. I don't no. do key to yeah. I just, oh, what would you I just do look good. Watch out, watch out. Yes. Yeah. It's like, it'd be like Bill and Ted's Echo Adventure. Yes. Yeah. No. I, I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Bill and Ted. Yeah. All right. All awesome. right. Uh, real quick, you guys. Uh, you're about to go on. You just you're on your record release tour for Grand right now. Yeah. Uh, how's that tour been going so far? It's been so good. Really good. We we went to Vancouver for our first time. Um, which was, I don't know, we did Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Portland Eugene, uh, Sacramento, San Francisco, here, and then San Diego. And it's just been like sold out shows and, and just like, just uplifting, especially it was an album we worked so hard and long on and we've just been getting such positive feedback to it that, uh, yeah. you know. So the crowd's been reacting well to yeah. the new yeah, song? Like, and they all the know past, all the words yeah, and the, I'm like, you guys just downloaded that like a month ago, <laughs> didn't you? Like, how do you know all of this? Like, but it's, it's a good <laughs> Because you're kind of always nervous on playing new songs that people don't know, and just when people start singing along, it just kind of, I don't know, it makes me want to hit harder. <laughs> it's funny though, we have this one song, um, this one song called Daylight that uh, has been our single lately, and um, it's been playing on the radio and whatever, but we hadn't played it ever till this tour. And uh, someone contacted us before this tour and said that their band was covering it, and I'm like, you played that song before we played that song live. <laughs> That's funny. Real quick, you guys, any final things you'd like to tell your fans and uh, highlights and things you're looking forward to in the future? Mm. This is I feel like my... we have to do one of these. Mm. I mean, yeah. basically, our, our coming up future is just nonstop travel. We will come to you. Yes. You don't need to come up. You could be in Japan, Australia, Europe. We're going, I, I forget, the rest of our year is pretty, pretty planned booked. out of... Traveling. A lot of rocking. Yeah. A lot of rocking. You know, you, you can you can stop me rocking if you tried to stop me rocking. I love to hear and that. And there will be no guitar. <laughs> <laughs> One day we'll get the guitar. You say the first word. I'll say the second word. Wait, what am I saying? You say, youtellconcerts.com. Okay. Nope. I just say, yeah. youtellconcerts.com. Because when you tell concerts, it's cooler. <laughs> oh!